so good. I thank you for being so good. As undeserving as we are, God is still good. As hard-headed as we are, God is still good. And His mercy endure forever. So Lord, I'm grateful that you just keep sinning. Blessing after blessing. I don't know why you do it. But you just keep on coming. The mere fact that you woke up this morning is a blessing.
But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then, she, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to, unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen. This is the word of God for the people of God. Do indulge me if you will. Everybody turn to somebody. I know saying turn to your neighbor is churchy, but I want you to do that for me. And say, neighbor, neighbor, what kind of faith, what kind of faith do, you do you have? We'll right. talk this morning right. from the subject, what kind of faith do you have? Beloved, if we were being cognizant of what the Lord has sent to us through the Spirit from last Sunday to today, we can recall that he first asked the question by saying, are you ready for new? Right. Yes. Stay with me, stay with me. Then he comes behind that on Tuesday and says, stay focused. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Wednesday he says, hold it together. And then Thursday says, wake up and move forward. And then he comes, beloved, to tell us today, he asks us a question by saying, what kind of faith do you have? And if we put those pieces together, the first thing the Holy Spirit is saying, it is time for us to mobilize. Mm -hmm. We've heard on many occasions, we enter to worship and we depart to serve. And I come to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, in order to mobilize, it takes faith. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor it takes faith. Y'all going to be quiet and bougie. So let me get in my history book to demonstrate to you that certain things don't happen unless some folks have some faith. All right, all right, all right. There was two brothers in Ohio. They were the Wright brothers. Uh -huh. Everybody told them they was crazy because they thought humans could fly. Right. And because of the faith of the Wright brothers, we now have spirit. Mm -hmm. Delta. Yes, Southwest. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. When they were riding horses and pulling buggies, there was a man named Ford that said, we can do better than this. Right. They said he was crazy, but he came up with something called the Model T. Right. Y'all can be bougie all you want to, but if you look in the parking lot right now, when I pulled up, I didn't see no horses tied up. And I didn't see no buggies parked to the side. I didn't see nobody taking hay outside. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me in here. If it was impossible to leave our atmosphere, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin never take the steps on the moon. Yes. Saying one step for America and one giant step for mankind. It, matter of fact, there was something going on in this country called slavery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And because the faith of one woman named Harriet Tubman, uh -huh. because of Harriet, there were some folks who became free. Y'all right. ain't going to help yes, me in sir. here. Uh -huh. There was a fellow who, who, who was convinced to stand on his faith. His name was Jackie Robinson. All right. All right. Yes. And, and what are you saying, Bishop? Sometimes, beloved, you, can, you can't wait till somebody else do it. All right. You have to have the faith to take a step out. If, if right. he didn't have faith, there was a man just a few years ago who had a dream that folks said would never happen. And that is an African-American man leading the United States of America. Uh -huh. But we now know the 44th president was a man named Barack Hussein Obama. Right. So my brothers and my sisters, the Holy Spirit says, this lets us know that we mobilize through faith. Right. The Bible declares 
in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. And when you get a chance, look at it because you'll notice it's in parentheses when Paul says, for we walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by sight. Bishop, why is it in parentheses? Paul is saying at this stage in your journey, this is something that you should already know. All right. Yes, sir. You shouldn't be in church 10, 15, 20, 25 years and still struggling with the concept that I just take a step. Because Joe Lagone said, if you take one, hey. yes, he'll sir. take to right, yes, James in his second chapter of his writing he begins at verse 17 by letting us know even so faith if it has not works is dead being alone and Mother Gibbons if you keep reading you'll find out he says one man will say I got works and the other one will say I got faith he says you looking at works but you can see my faith by my works and one of the problems true believers the Holy Ghost is saying in this season God ain't interested in your lip service He's saying, if you truly believe your faith and your works are to line up, they ought to be parallel and congruent. In other words, we demonstrate our faith by how we act. All right. All right. Amen. That's why Paul says in Hebrews 11 and 1, he says, now faith. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. The preachers love to preach and play with that thing because he All says, right. now faith. But guess what the Holy Ghost is saying? Our wake-up call is we should have faith now. Mm -hmm. right. yes, sir. Right. Up. Why should we have faith right now? Because it is the substance of things hoped for. Yes. But an even more powerful statement, it is the evidence of things not seen. Some stuff you're trying to figure out, you need the faith out. What kind of faith do you have? Matter of fact, Holy Spirit said, I let him be quiet because I'm finna, finna kick him in the knee. He's he saying, too many of y'all, even when you pray, you're not praying in faith. All right. All right. You're praying like you're on the price is right. What do you mean, Bishop? On the price is right. They have three contestants, and then after they have three contestants, they got this thing, Minister Moore, called the wheel. All right. All right. Yes. And the gold is the land on the dollar. All right. And those numbers are green. Yes. But right in top and bottom of it, uh, the, those numbers are in red, and their goal is to spin the wheel and hope they get it out. All right, all right. Stay with me, because yes. that's how some of y'all praying. Y'all get on your knees and spin the wheel, hoping. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Versus believing. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. Help me, Holy Ghost. He 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 he's saying you because even if you keep reading it in Hebrews eleven, when you get down to around verse five, he says, "Without faith, it is impossible." Yes, sir. I got to stay right there. Impossible. Some of y'all are fooling yourself when his word says it is impossible to please God. Why? He that cometh to him, first of all, must believe that he is. Y'all spinning the wheel. Hoping to land on the dollar. He said you're supposed to come down knowing that if you ask it in faith, it shall be done. So, so you must believe that he is. And then watch this. He's a reward. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Yes. Thank yes. you, Because all of you are talking mess with y'all today. All of it, it's based upon good ground. If you brought home good grades, daddy would do something good for you. All right. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Amen. Matter of fact, and help me preach this thing. If you if you do good, they got something called the AB Honor Roll. All right. All right. And they list your name so everybody know uh -huh. right. how good you've done. Y'all right. love to sing the song, Sign Me Up. <laughs> for the Christian Jubilee. Jubilee, what is that next? Sign my name uh -huh. on the roll. Uh -huh. If you believe God and you believe, then you should believe He is a rewarder. Right. Come on now. Yeah. Right. here. Let me let me bust y'all up right now. You know why you're able to sit in here right now? Because He's a reward. Right. 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 Fact that you was able to walk out to your car. Yes. He's a reward. Yes. The fact that you can see me, yeah. he, he's a reward. Yeah. You can hear me, yeah. he's a reward. Yeah. Yeah. If they pinch you, you feel it, he's a reward. Yeah. You don't have oxygen on, you can breathe on your own accord, he's a reward. Yeah. Let me say it like the old church folk would say, the blood still running warm in your veins. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't think they didn't know what it is because if it's running warm in your veins, it's about 98 degrees running through there. All right. He's a rewarder. The fact that you got groceries in the refrigerator, he's a rewarder. The fact that you stood in front of the closet trying to figure out what you're going to put on, he's a rewarder. He's a rewarder of them. Remember the price is the right thing I just used? Everybody don't get a dollar. But as long as you get the most, you move on. 
sleep up in here. In other words, even if you didn't get your 100, your 99 and a half was enough. Even if you got 15, your 15 was enough. Because Paul said, in my weakness, his strength is made perfect, which means if all I got is 15, he gave me the other 85. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. He's a rewarder yes, he of them that diligently seek, seek him. him. So yes, at the time of this text, my brothers and my sisters, this period in Jesus' life is known as the year of opposition. Everybody say year of opposition. Year of opposition. Okay, how many of y'all can relate to that? Because in the season we're in, the saints of God, the body of Christ, is facing opposition. Yes. Right. Morality all right. is at an all-time yes. low. Opposition. All right. yes, There's generations behind us that don't think they need the Lord, no, right. the church. Yes. Opposition. Yes. They think that prayer is old-fashioned. Yes. Opposition. Yes. And as any time they can, they want to put up as much negativity as they can yes. about the preacher, the pastor, and the church, Go and ahead. Christians. Opposition. Tell your neighbor, we are in opposition. Yes. Yes. And, and the pattern of Jesus' year of opposition is the Lord would have to deal with his enemies. He's also teaching his disciples, but he's also ministering to the multitude. Yes, sir. You ought to thank God that he still yes, ministers right. to the multitude. Right. Prior to this text, he had been rejected again at Nazareth. And yet many miracles were still being done. Let me pause there for a minute. You do realize even though for, we reject him. He still blesses. Yes, yes, he does. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, he does. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, Ms. Evelyn, yes. I, I was taught as a, as a young kid, before I eat, I bless my food. Yes, now, can we be a honey in here? Sometimes you grab that sandwich and you bite it and didn't bless it. That's right. That's right. But you want to know the blessing in that? Even though you didn't bless it, he did. Because he didn't let you choke. To you when you didn't deserve it. Right. Tell you never, he blesses in spite of them. Yes. Right. And the thing that I like, my brothers and my sisters, when I re check the record, some of his disciples defected from him. When he was teaching them truth, they said, This is a hard saying. And the Bible says in John chapter 6 that many left him. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is look around the church. All right. yes, sir. We want to blame it on the pandemic and we want to blame it on this or that, but you do realize some folk left here because of the truth. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Some of the folk broke fellowship because of truth. Oh, yeah. So y'all do understand that, that some preachers, you know, and I've had this discussion with some, some pastors to encourage them, uh, folk go when they preach in prosperity. Oh, All right. Yes, right. And some folks said, the church growing weed, I got to sign up. Y'all oh, right. ain't going to help me I mean, ain't nothing new. This is. But when you're teaching the wages of sin is this, everybody don't want to hear that. And, and so, and so, even though he's rejected, even though folks turned and walked away from him, he still blessed those that needed. But however, come to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, this period of time. In his ministry was also a period of withdrawal. And prior to the red text, we discover that he arrives at a place called Genesaret. Everybody say Genesaret. Genesaret is modern day Lebanon. It's on the east side of the Mediterranean Sea. And one thing that I discovered is even though Jesus was out the way, the scribes and the Pharisees showed up. Y'all yes, right. don't know what y'all. Right. Let me put the piece together. Yes, sir. They were so at Jesus, they left Jerusalem and traveled to Genesaret. All right. mm -hmm. yes. What are you saying, Bishop? Sometimes folk will come find where you at. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Just to be messy. Yes. They ain't at your birthday party to celebrate you. They at your party to see what you got on. What did you get? What kind of food it was? Did you have a store bought take or did they make you one? Everybody that shows up is not showing up for the right reason. And so they show up and they they show up to try to challenge him. But the thing I noticed about this period of time, Jesus focused on two things. Tell you that he focused on two things. Truth. True, true. In love. Yeah. So, so how he deals with these Pharisees, he rejects their traditions. Read it when you get a chance. Prior to the red text, when they show up, and he, I paraphrase, don't want to hold you too long. He said, why y'all eating and then wash your hands? All right. yes. Yes. I noticed 
you and your disciples eating, and I don't see no hand sanitizer. All right, all right. I didn't see no wipes, Sylvia. They didn't have no Clorox all wipes right. or, or no bleach or no soap or nothing. Y'all just picked up the food to eat it. And what they were really doing, it wasn't about hygiene, it was about tradition. Amen. All right, then. Yes, sir. What are you saying, Bishop? Sometimes folks hide their motives behind other all stuff. All right, man. But I like the fact that Jesus rejected Jewish tradition. Why, why does that apply to us, Bishop? Because traditions are external. But truth is internal. Mm -hmm. People obey traditions to please men. We obey the word to please God. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Hey, tradition deals with a ritual, but truth deals with reality. Tradition provides empty words from lips, but truth penetrates the heart and changes the life. God is not not is not focused on tradition. He's focused on truth. And, and so. When we get to this text, Jesus leaves Genesaret and he travels to a place called Phoenicia. Everybody say Phoenicia. That's once again that's modern day Lebanon. And what we discover, my brothers and my sisters, as he dealt with truth with the Pharisees and the scribes, when he arrives at this land around cities Tyre and Sidon, he now focuses on compassion because in this text he demonstrates. His response to Gentile needs. Tell your neighbor, he'll, he'll meet your needs. He'll meet your needs. Now, one thing that I discovered, Minister Monroe, that the Jews referred to Gentiles as unclean. Okay. Yes, sir. Watch this. Stay with me. Right. As a matter of fact, Janelle, they had the nerve, gall, and audacity to call them dogs. Right. Yes. We ain't talking about them dogs y'all got in the house. You know, the ones that y'all take and get manicured and pedicured and wash. <laughs> no, we talk about them mongrels that's running around the street eating All out right. the garbage can. Yes. But Lisa, one thing I discovered about this is the Jews, y'all got the nerve to say something about the Gentiles? You do realize that y'all are in captivity. So even though you ain't got your own homeland, your, your temple has been destroyed, you are under Roman rule, you got the nerve to look down on somebody else, and then the Holy Spirit said, I have to look at it again, they're actually bigots. Y'all ain't gonna see this one coming. And while you sitting there with your quiet sanctimonious self, one problem in the church right now, too many times we act like bigots. All right. All right. All right. Let me cut that thing up for you. Right. When, when folk walk in the church and, don't, and not dress like you think they ought to be dressed, and you turn your nose out, up at them, bigots. All right. When a young person come in and she got tattoos and her nose pierced, and you tear your mouth up, bigots. Right. Preach up in here, Ivan. When a young man come in here and he got on jeans with holes in them, and he got dreads in his hair, and you talking about he need to cut that mess off, bigots. Right. Too many of y'all want to be so holy and sanctified. Is, you drive folk away because you are bigots, just like the Jews. But let me remind you of something. Number one, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And grandmama taught me when you come to the Lord, come just as you are. Yeah, her dress too short. Cover her legs up. Yeah, he might not smell like you think he ought to. Give right. him a care package of love. Right. Right. Yeah. The church there you go. is guilty of being spiritual bigots. Right. That's right. That's right. There's some got an issue with us because all y'all ain't got long dresses on. That's right. Uh -huh. They got a problem with Bishop Wallace because I ain't got on vestments. Okay. Right. And they got a problem with y'all because y'all came in here and you ain't booted and suited and dressed all to right. impress. Yes. All right. Yes, sir. This ain't church because we ain't having that at 11 o'clock. We starting at 9. Yes, sir. This ain't church because we don't have a church program. Go ahead, Pastor. Preach up in here. I have it. God is saying in this season, he ain't looking for external. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. He looking for internal. That's why David didn't say, wash my body. He said, create in me a clean heart. Yeah. And don't stop there, Lord. Renew in me the right spirit. Yeah. When you got a clean heart and a right spirit, yeah. you'll have the right kind of faith. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They had the gall and audacity mm. to be bigots. Mm. Nevertheless, say nevertheless. 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 nevertheless, Jesus is trying to hide out. Jesus is trying to remain hidden. But when we see this verse, verse 21, it says, when he departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon, behold, a woman of Canaan. Can I teach you a little bit? Canaan is in Africa. 
Amen. Stay with me. You're going to see something yes. like that. Amen. Amen. Yes. Which means she ain't this color. All right. All right, then. Mm -hmm. She ain't this color. Oh, no. She, she can't tonight. Mm -hmm. She ain't this color. Mm -hmm. so, so we know from Matthew's writing, she's not a Jew. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. Yes. And it says, Behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me. That tells me something. That tells me something, beloved. She knew the who, the where, and the what. All right. All right. All right. Yes, sir. All who? Right. She knew who Jesus was. All yes. right. Yes, sir. Where? Even though he's trying to hide. All right. Bible just told us he went to where he was. Mm -hmm. And then she knew the what? Because she said, Lord, help me. Yes. Which means she knew what he was able to do. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. okay. Yes, no, don't sir. say it. Don't say it. Yes, sir. When you walk through the door, you ought to know who you coming to worship. All right. That's right. That's right. You ought to know where you. you're coming to worship. Yes, sir. Help me, preach, David. I was glad yes, sir. when they said unto me, yes, let us go where you're going. All right. To the house of the Lord. Here's the thing y'all need to embrace. You ought to know what he's able to do. Amen. Okay, y'all need me help because y'all been too quiet. He's able to, to do exceedingly. And abundantly, yes, he's able to do what no other power can do. Can do. Right. He's able to do all things. Yes, so when you walk to the door, yes. there's no need to bring to the door. That all you need to get it done is what kind of faith you got. Yes. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. So, so, so she comes. Uh, here's the thing. I like if you pay attention to it. She says. Have mercy on me, mm. O Lord, thou son of David. Now, I need to cut that up for you because I need to I need to form a little theology. She's a Canaanite woman. Yes. Do we agree? Yes. She comes from Canaan. Right. But she calls him son of David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Help me preach this, girl. Yes. You see where I'm going with this. Yes. Mm -hmm. How dare you use Jewish terminology mm -hmm. and you ain't a Jew? All right. Because by saying son of David... That means you don't went to school and you don't learn some history. Yeah, all right. yeah. You know that our Messiah comes from the lineage of David. Of David. Yes. But you ain't been to Jewish University. Uh, yes. I checked your birth certificate. You're not of Jewish descent. How dare you call him son of David? Didn't I tell y'all we spiritual bigots? Yes, sir. Here's the cold shot. She knew better than the Jews did. Yeah. All right. Yes. Sir. All right. Y'all wouldn't listen to me. Yes, sir. So let me let me rewind. Can I hit the rewind? Mm -hmm. The scribes and Pharisees all right. traveled all the way from Jerusalem to Genesaret, mm -hmm. not to acknowledge him, but to test him. Oh, yes. But here he is in another land, <laughs> and a woman who ain't church. All right. All right. All right. Yes, all right. Sir. Yes. You. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. The Jews represent the church. Right. God's chosen people. Yes, okay. sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But here this is this Canaanite woman mm -hmm. that y'all call dog and unclean. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Calls him son of David. All right. right. Yes. Okay, yes. which means here's the thing. And it still don't say me. Which means she she may not read it in a book, oh. but something inside of her said. Yeah. This same Jesus All right. that you heard them talking about at the right. grocery yes. store. All right. This same Jesus uh -huh. that, that they're talking about on the Word Channel. Yes, sir. This same Jesus yes, sir. that I'm picking up on the podcast yes. apparently is who he said he is. Because right. I don't know your history, right. but I heard he walked on the wall. Matter of fact, prior to this, my cousin, my kinfolk, had went to this church meeting while Lisa, and, and, and they didn't take nothing with them to eat, and service lasted all day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And the church folk said, sit them away. All right. All right. But this same Jesus said, sit them down. All right. Church folk, two plenty times, we sent them away. Yeah. But we need to be sitting them down. Yeah. And then he said, what we got to work with? Where this little boy brought his two-piece? Uh -huh. And Jesus said, that's enough. What kind of faith do you have? That he can take your two piece and feed you. Yes, sir. He can take your two pennies and pay your bills. Y'all talking to me in here. What kind of faith do you got that you learn that all I got to do is have Jesus touch it? All I got to do is have a little talk with him. And everything will be all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Here's the problem. The Jews was looking for Jesus to do something naturally. They knew he was going to overthrow the government. But they were looking for him to come and raise up an army, defeat the Romans, and put the Israelite nation back into a place of prominence. But they didn't do their homework because they didn't realize his kingdom wasn't earthly. All right. Okay. 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 Y'all still playing. The Jews was looking for him to do something natural. Mm -hmm. But this woman was looking for him to do something Spirit. Spirit. supernatural. All right. Because All right. All right. All right. she recognized her problem is not natural. Right. Okay. Okay. My daughter is grievously vexed mm -hmm. with COVID. Mm -hmm. right. uh -huh. mm -hmm. My daughter is grievously vexed with polio. Uh -huh. My daughter is grievously vexed with diabetes. Okay. Yes, That's not what it said. It says, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Yes, sir. Right. If something wrong with my car, uh -huh. I go to a mechanic. Right. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. If I need the buttons replaced on my shirt, right. uh -huh. I go to a seamstress. Right. Yes, if I need a haircut, uh -huh. I go to a barber. Uh -huh. If I need my taxes done, I go to a CBA. Uh -huh. CPA. Uh -huh. If I need something to eat, I go to somebody who can cook. Uh -huh. <laughs> If I need some good music, uh -huh. I call on the ministers. Right, yes. What are you saying, Bishop? Can you recognize who has the qualifications mm -hmm. to fix your problem? Right. 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 Stay with me. She didn't go to the Pharisee. Uh -huh. She didn't go to the scribe. Yes, she went to Jesus. All right. Right. You better be mindful where you call yourself going that call itself church. Because sometimes you'll go in there and you'll leave worse than you can. Y'all ain't going to help me. Man. She didn't go to church. She went to Jesus. Because your salvation ain't about the building. It's about who's in there. I'm still making this thing, huh? Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. They're way back yonder way in Genesis. Moses was taking a walk. Mm -hmm. he, he, didn't, he didn't go into church. He's on the backside of a desert. <coughs> but he sees a fire that keeps burning. Yes, it ain't about the location. Do you got the fire yeah. that's still burning? Yeah. Y'all hit me here. Yeah. And when he got close, the spirit says, Stop. Yeah, you don't hold Take it. off your shoes. Y'all yeah. laugh at them Chinese folk. Y'all yes, yes, laugh at them Japanese folk. But the reason why they take out their shoes at the door mm -hmm. is they don't track in what's outside. All right. All right. Moses, I don't need you tracking in that foolishness from Egypt. All right. I don't need you tracking in warrants. Mm -hmm. I don't need you tracking in serving bail. Take off your shoes. Because yeah. right. the ground you're standing on right. is holy ground. Yeah. And y'all got to learn to leave your Holy Ghost shoes outside. Because right. some of y'all coming in here with doubt. Woo. Depression, yeah. right. oppression, uh -huh. worry. Y'all yeah. right. yes. yeah. 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 I, I told you, Bishop Messi, I see when you come to the door and you have worshiping. And they got to sing four verses of the song Woo. for you to stop worrying about that hard head boy. Y'all ain't going to hit me in here. Ask your neighbor what kind of faith you got. Right. Yeah. So, so I like the fact. She knew who to go to. Yes, sir. She knew where he was. Mm -hmm. And she knew what he could do. But Jesus answered her not a word. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read on the surface, it looked like Jesus is being arrogant. Mm -hmm. He didn't even say nothing to her. She called him son of David. Mm -hmm. Gave him glory. Mm -hmm. But yeah. He didn't say, not a word. Not a word. Not a word. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Not only did Jesus not say nothing to Isaac,
But then his boy said, Sit away. Sit away. Yeah. Get out of here. Get, out of here. Yeah. Get rid of her. Because she bothering us. Yeah. I'm glad y'all quiet so you can hear me. Yes. Yes. Sometimes your praise bothers folk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, let me get in the dance home. Yes. And there's somebody somewhere saying, she doing too much. Y'all right. right. yes. right. You waving your hand. Uh, in their mind, they saying, sit your yeah. tail down. Yes. Right. Yes, we was having good service Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes, when you stand up, somebody mean mugging you because you in my way. They ain't saying nothing. Y'all right. <laughs> ain't gonna help me in here. So, 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 Jesus didn't say a word. Holy Ghost, I want to move. He won't let me. Because some of y'all in here, watch this, watch this. You ain't got to raise your hand, but watch this. Some of y'all are frustrated spiritually because you prayed and didn't hear nothing. All right, All right. Yes, All right. sir. All right. All right. All right now. Yes, sir. All right. We ain't by ourselves. All right. Yes. Exactly. Yes, sir. Yes. All this praying. Yes. And singing. Yes. And preaching. Yes. And serving. And the Lord didn't say nothing. All right. <laughs> Jesus, how could you do this? Here's, here's, Jesus is not picking on the lady. But watch this. Evidence suggests he didn't say nothing because he did two things. He knew her faith yeah. and he saw her heart. Pre right. pre pre prove it, Bishop. Okay. Jesus didn't say nothing. Right. Disciples said, send her away. But then in verse 24, then Jesus speaks. Right. Okay. What are you saying, preacher? Because of her faith, him not saying nothing didn't make her give up. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor she had perseverance. Right. perseverance. Yes. Ask your neighbor, yes. can you operate in perseverance? Yes. Right. Okay, that's too fancy a word. Can you yes. be patient? Yes. Y'all wow. ain't talking about. Yes. James chapter 1, verse 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Let me let can I let you know a little secret for free? Sometimes God wanna know how bad do you want. <laughs> Let me make the pan. Can I make the parents mad? <laughs> One of the problems like young folk, they ask for it. You, you just give it to them. Yeah. Okay. I wanted a bike in. So daddy wanted to know how bad did I want. So I went outside, don't miss none, y'all, and shoveled the snow without him having that tail. Mm. In the spring, I cut the grass without him having to tell me. Mm -hmm. I heard mama, I overheard my mama in the living room saying, I sure wish I could clean these glasses or rather clean these windows before I change the screens. Mm -hmm. I got the ladder and I cleaned the glass mm -hmm. and I hung the screens. Right. And then one day I came home and it was sitting in the hallway was the bike. They don't know when they shot. Not only was it a bike, it was a better bike. All right. Let patience have her perfect work. Sometimes God is not going to do it yet because he's still working on it. Because you ain't ready for it yet. Because if he give it to you right now, you won't appreciate it. All right. Right. Right, sir. Ooh, I'm having fun yes, here today. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. If he give them to you when you want him, uh -huh. you'll mess it up. Because uh -huh. you'll be so glad to get it, you'll deal with foolishness. You should. Yes, but when he gets you ready, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you don't have to settle for any car. Mm -hmm. All right. Be patient. And not only will he give you what you need, mm -hmm. do I have a witness in here? Sometimes he'll give you what you want. So Jesus, Jesus says something hard here. Y'all being bougie. Jesus says something here. He said, it's not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. Dog, Jesus, you hard. You called the woman 
a dog mm. to her face. I'm, okay, I'm going to behave today. Surely, y'all can relate to folk mm -hmm. saying stuff, mm -hmm. not just behind your back, right. but to your face. Right. Dog Jesus, why you had to call the woman a dog? I know she black. I know she ain't from Jerusalem. Well, you called the woman a dog. Bishop, how you know she got faith? Because let's go back. Let's go back to 24. He says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep. And watch what he specified for, for the house of Israel. In other words, Jesus said, I didn't come here for you. All right. This ain't for y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all would have got your purse. And went out the door. I said something to you you didn't like? Mm -hmm. used, they used to wait after service. Now? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he think he talking to. This ain't the only church. All I done done for this church and that's how they gonna talk. He asked for thirty dollars. I gave him. I gave him forty. Uh, he didn't put my name on the church bulletin. Pack up they stuff and leave. But here's the shot point. She ain't like y'all. Cause in verse twenty five, it says, "Then came she and worshipped." All right. God is saying in this season, can you worship him when the prayer ain't answered yet? Can you worship him when all you got in your purse is your last $2? Can you worship him even though your back still hurt? Can you worship him when we could have stayed in the bed? In the face of controversy, she didn't complain, she worshiped. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What kind of faith do you have? Can you still worship him when he say no? All right then. Can you still worship him when you tired of dealing with the same thing over and over and over and over? Y'all ain't talking about Can you still worship him when you used to go rob Peter to pay Paul, but now Peter and Paul knocking on the door? Yes, sir. Young folk, hit me. Don't laugh at old folk. I'm going to be transparent. They're going to be bougie. Don't laugh at old folk. Because you might be spry right now. Keep on. Can I make it personal? I, one time, daddy got a station wagon. Oh, Lord, my knee. I said, Pop, you just getting old. He said, keep on. I had to go on my knees and and said, Pop. I'm sorry. That's right. Yes. I get it now. Oh, yes. I stretch my leg out in the bed and heard pop. <laughs> I, I looked to my right to see if she had some rice crispy treats. It was popping so bad. I, some days, Miss Evelyn, I feel like an old Buick. They can't relate to this. Because now they got hybrids. Yes. But the old Buick, you had to warm it up before you could take off. Because if you took off too fast, it would start. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna hit me in here. Young folk don't laugh. That's right. When, when daddy holding the back, keep on living. That's right. Because I know right now you got you don't have a back, you got a gristle. <laughs> I'm the only one who heard that. <laughs> keep on living. It was so funny. I told my dad, well, I can't say it. I got sit back then, but I said, blank, my gristle hurt then. <laughs> He said, keep it up, I'm going to hit you. I hate you, Chris. Keep on living. What's the point of this, Bishop? Here's the lesson about what tells you what kind of faith you got. Can you still worship when things are not going well? Yes, right. For believers, y'all hear me? Yes, sir. We got a lot to worship him for. Yes, sir. Let me remind y'all, sir. Yes. If it was by men's mouth, we wouldn't have made six weeks. Yeah. But we're working on seven years. Yeah. It's some marriages in here. Yeah. I'm on the ground. Yeah. That said wasn't gonna make it. Yeah. Seventy years later, we still waving. Yeah. And they by themselves. Yeah. If, if, if folks had their way, yeah. you would be in a penitentiary. Yeah. But your business is growing. If folk had their way, yeah. you would have been on welfare. Yeah. But because of God, you're faring well. Yeah. 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 Anybody 
Why hate can you give them glory? Yeah. Because you know he done brought you from neck bones to feet bones. Yeah. He done brought you from rubber heels to rubber wheels. Yeah. He done brought you from apartment to housing. Yeah. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Yeah. Can I be real ugly to you on Facebook? I got a lot of women in here who don't look their age. Yeah. 826 West Elm Street, Unity. Rockmark, Georgia. I'm trying to help y'all. Y'all better say something here. Can, can, I, can I go to... Son, can I, can, can I go to coming to America? Good, clean, good. Y'all owe me for this. My birthday is January 10th. I had that verse in a second. Good, clean, good. Why y'all laughing? What kind of faith y'all got? Yeah. Right. Ask, and it shall. You better say something. Yeah. Yeah. Ask, yes. and it shall right, yes, sir. be done. Yes, sir. That's right. Press down. Shaking together. Shaking together. Y'all right. ain't gonna help me preach yes, it. Through everything she's dealing with. She still worshiped. All right. Go ahead. And then she said, Lord, help me. Yes. I'm trying to move. All right. Okay. Let me go back, Jason. She worshiped, then she asked. All right. Yes. Someone, some of y'all need to get your prayer life in order. All right. You're supposed to worship. Yes. Then you ask. Yes, sir. All right. The model prayer, our Father, which are in heaven, yes. it starts with worship. Yes. All right. And thine is the kingdom yes, and the power. It closes with worship. Here you church folk is on your knees begging, worshiping male waiters. Google them maybe. Can you worship him before you ask? Then she says, Lord help me. Ask your neighbor what kind of faith. I'm not going. Do you have Son, that brought back to my remembrance. That sounded familiar. Wasn't quite the same, but it sounded familiar just a chapter before. She said, Lord, help me. But if you go back a chapter, it was this fellow named Simon Barjona who said, Jesus, if that's you, bid me to come. All Jesus said was, come. come. He started out good. Stay with me, true believers. He started off good, but then he took his eyes. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Mm. We started off good. Mm. But he's saying, have you taken yeah. your eyes yeah. off the prize? Because right. yes, if you content, mm -hmm. you've taken your eyes uh -huh. off the prize. Because Paul said you should be pressing toward the mark of the high calling. Mm -hmm. Not the level calling, not the low calling. Okay, Holy Ghost, I hear you. He told me to tell somebody in here, stop settling. Oh, yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I ain't got to figure out what to do. Stop settling. You're better than that. All right. All right. All right. Sir. All right. You can fly with eagles. <laughs> Leave the buzzers and chickens where they at. All right. That's right. That's good. Somebody better receive that in here. <laughs> and if somebody on Facebook watching this receiving that, because the Holy Spirit just dropped in my mind and in my spirit. You can do better mm. than that. If you look to the hills, okay. you're not looking down. All right. You're looking up. Okay. Yes, All right. Right. So, so, then a shift happened. Bishop, where's the shift? Verses 26 and 27. Verse 26. He said, it's not me. Take the children's bread. And the cast it to the dog. Watch 27. And she said, truth, Lord. I'm glad y'all can hear me. Because some of y'all are stuck in the situation you're in because you can't receive truth. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. She didn't buck it. Remember, she didn't worship already. Mm -hmm. She said, truth, Lord. Mm -hmm. God is saying in this season how to stay focused. Hold it together. Yes. Wake up and get moving. Truth, Lord. Can you receive what the Lord is showing you in the mirror? Mm. We're not really quiet. So watch this. Because some of these sanctified folk in here, they ain't looking in the mirror. 
they looking out the window. Yeah. All right. All right. They can see everybody else. All right. But in the words of Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. but the man in the mirror. In, the mirror. Mm -hmm. in this season, can you look in the mirror? And when God show you even what you don't want to see, mm -hmm. can you say, truth, Lord, I need to do better? All All right. Right. And then she says, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. I'm through. Y'all don't know when this shop. All right. She said, I can make it off the crumb. Yeah. 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 I can make it yeah. off broken pieces. Yeah. Paul told me to tell you, I told him not to go sailing. Mm -hmm. And we was in a shipwreck. And some of my homies couldn't swim. But in the water, Minister Monroe, it was some broken pieces mm -hmm. floating around. Yeah. And some of them grabbed hold to the broken piece. And they were able to make it to dry land. Don't complain about the broken piece. Because that's all you need to make it to safety. I'm gone, I'm gone. But uh, I realized that Jesus told her that uh, she had great faith. All right. What bothered me is both times Matthew records great faith. Right. It was not the Jews that uh, displayed great faith. Yes, yes. But two things happened. Both times they were Gentiles. Yes. <laughs> and I noticed, Anne, that both times Jesus healed from a distance. Yes. He's saying uh, traditional church is not going to have it. But when you know where he's brought you from, when you appreciate his grace and mercy, when you realize if it had not been for the Lord on your side, oh, where would you be? Anybody? church right now, do you realize he's still a prayer answering God? I don't know about y'all, but I know what kind of faith that I have. My faith kept me preaching when they said I couldn't preach. said I would fail. My faith encouraged me to move on when they said I should be still. My faith helped me to launch ministry when folk was talking about me. What kind of faith do you have? Do your faith let you know Do your faith let you trust in the Lord? Anybody in this church right now, can you wave your hand and say, My faith, my faith brought me this far. My faith will carry me. What kind of faith? I heard a rumor Paul said it like this The just Shall live By faith Maybe someone is watching And questioning your faith God sends this word For you to do self Evaluation Take spiritual inventory To see what kind of faith Do you have you said, like the record said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, yes. you can say to the mountain, Be thou moved, mm -hmm. and it shall move. What is he really saying? He said, The focus on faith is not quantity, it's quality. Who do you believe? The writer said, Who will believe our report? Right there where you are. 
your faith can take hold by believing in your heart, confessing with your mouth. Jesus as your personal Savior. Don't let this broadcast end with you in the same position and condition you were before. Your faith is what you need as we stand. What kind of faith do you have? God is asking us this morning for us to do the same. To take in the tour, to check and see what kind of faith do we have? Maybe someone here has not taken the, taken the ultimate faith step by believing in your heart, confessing with your heart, Jesus, as your personal Savior. The Spirit is moving you to be a part of this church home. This is your time to come. Spirit moving with you, take a step of faith and watch the Lord move. May God bless you. Thank you. Blessing, Lord, to see our first lady as well. Yes. Lord, you are doing the work in this place right now, Father God. Yes, God. And Lord, yes, God. you are you are just softening our hearts, Father God. Lord, just the labor, Lord, the way you want us to do yes, to help, yes. to help yes. that person, Father God, Lord, that is Lord Spirit, Father God. Yes. Because, Lord, your word is here, Father God. Yes. Your presence is here, Father God. Yes. Lord, and I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, bless this community, Lord. Bless the youth, Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. She says, Miss Abby, you forgot me. 
always. Oh my God. <laughs> Resurrection day is always. Hey. Always. Hey. always. So right now, I want her to give to you what she wants to say about resurrection. The resurrection of Jesus Christ and what it means to me. What it means to me is that I am forever grateful for Jesus for dying for my sins and that I am justified. I was given another chance. I was given a life to live and a savior to serve. I was able to have my family and friends. I also had the victory for him dying for Thank me. You, Lord. Without his resurrection, he w we wouldn't put so much faith and hope into Jesus Christ. If Jesus never died, our sins would not be forgiven mm. and wouldn't be able to put our eternal life in Jesus Christ. Mm. Hey. so plainly. Yes. Amen. Yes. And she's yes. a great student you all. Amen. You think, you think, yes. You think she wouldn't say a word. That's right. She come with some word Amen. to us. All right. To inspire us and we want to thank her and tell her to continue on. All right. I just want to um, give everybody, um, don't forget on Saturday, we're going to have a fish fry. Um, from 11 to 4, and, you know, whoever, you know, got a brain, you know, just encourage someone that you know to come and take part in. Amen? Amen. You know. <coughs> Thank you. Amen. I got two more announcements. Oh. That's all right. You, you, we just tagged okay. you. Um, we had scheduled, our color run was supposed to have been, uh, what was that, the last of March, but due to the weather, April we postponed. And... Did you check? It's I did. We June got, 10th. We, we got it for June. June 10th will be the color run at the same place. Mm -hmm. um, the um, Nathan Dean Sports Complex at the track. It'll be from 10 to 4. We will be there um, starting, um, setting up around 9, 9.15. Um, and everybody who will and can come out and help, you know, support, as well as come and set up. And I'm asking... It's, it's not just for the young people. It's, the mm -hmm. it's for the community. So everybody can take part. I'm asking you to, to um, promote it to, to your friends, your family. Hey, we're going to have vendors. We're going to have food, fun, just fellowship. Fun fellowship. Mm -hmm. So come on out. We're going to have a DJ. We're going to all of that. Just come out. All you right. know? Thank you. And my next announcement is our week, the trip. To Kentucky for the um, Noah's Out Art Museum that's going to be postponed. We're looking at August yeah, for that. Sometime, August. sometime we be, we will be getting back to you on that day. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. Next Sunday is Fifth Sunday, right? So you know what Fifth Sunday is? Children. Youth. Youth. Exactly. It's Fifth Sunday. So youth. <laughs> For ushering youth for praise, all we want to see you active on the fifth Sunday. And you know, for the praise team, that's the youth, you got to be here at 8 o'clock right. for so rehearsal. Rehearsal is just going to be that one day on Sunday morning? Yes, yes just that one day. So that and we will be getting the songs out to the youth. Yeah, so thank you very much. Is there anything else I forgot? Thank you. Let her say amen. Amen. One more announcement. Um, there's a sign-up sheet on the back by the door. Uh, we made the announcement again. And we are blessed that the Lord opened the door for life insurance, guaranteed approval, no medical exam. Starts out at 100000 When you turn 60, it goes to 60. When you turn 80, it goes to 20. But it'll never go lower than twenty thousand dollars. And this opportunity is afforded through your connection to this ministry. So anyone who wants additional life insurance or you have family members that are not insured, 
this is your opportunity. Sign up now. Those who can't will because the open enrollment is going to be in about a month. And I want to have all the information ready uh, when open enrollment happens. Amen. Amen. To those who are watching us on Facebook and YouTube, may God bless you. May God keep you. Is our sincere and his prayer. Amen. Amen. Anybody blessed? Have been blessed this week? Yeah.